Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about different geometrical properties. In engineering, we use different uh, geometrical properties depending on the equation that we are using. So the first one would be the centroid or center of geometry. And center of geometry could be center of gravity as well if our material is homogeneous. So for example, if you have a, let's say a square, or let's say it's a rectangle, then the center of geometry or the center of gravity would be the center. We show it by X bar, it should be B over two, and then Y bar would be A over two. And the equation that we use here is X dA over A, and X would be the coordinate system of our differential element that we use. So the application of center of gravity is when we are gonna apply the gravitational force. Uh, instead of applying a distributed load, we can replace it with a point load and apply that load at center of gravity. That's where the force of gravity is being applied. And uh, let's say if we have a, <clears throat> a quarter of a circle and with radius r, x bar would be four r, three pi and y bar would be the same thing. The other geometrical parameter that we have is first moment of area that's defined as the moment of all elements of the area or volume about a certain axis. And we define it as X dA, or we can write it X bar A, or Y bar A. So here you can see X dA would be our Q so if you want to find the first moment of area, if you already have your uh, X bar, it's just X bar times A. So we use first moment of area when we are talking about shear stresses. In shear stress equation, we need the first moment of area, Q. Let's say you want to find the shear stresses in the middle of a circular object. So you need to find Q, and then if Q is A Y bar, you know, let's say Q is A Y bar, you know A is half of a circle, so pi R squared over two, and Y bar is four R three pi. And then you can find your value of Q in shear stress equation. And then we have second moment of area, which is the second moment of all elements of an area or volume about a certain axis. So in, in first moment of area or second moment of area, we are talking about a certain axis. So for different axes, you're going to have different moment of area. And that's defined as resistance to moment, resistance to torsional deformation. And if y squared dA for ix or uh, x squared dA for iy. And j is a polar moment of area that we use it for circular uh, geometries. And the application is in bending equation, MCI, or in torsional equation, TCJ. And for different uh, Geometry, we have different eyes. Let's say if you have a rectangle and your rectangle has a height of H and the width of B, so IX or IY would be the same thing if we say that these are X and Y. IX equals I, Y would be one twelfth of BH squared, which is BH cubed. And uh, you can use parallel axis theorem if you are interested in other uh, axes. 
Then the other geometrical parameter that we deal with is second moment of inertia or mass moment of inertia. I've seen that people use uh, moment of inertia for moment of area as well. That's, that's a misnomer. But whenever we're talking about inertia, or, uh, what, whenever the mass comes into play, then we are talking about second moment of inertia. And uh, the significance is that it's resistance to angular acceleration. So uh, the higher the moment of inertia is, the lower acceleration, angular acceleration you're gonna have. And then we can define the second moment of inertia as the second moment of all elements um, about a certain axis, second moment of all uh, masses uh, about a certain axis. And for different geometry, for a disk about a center, the I is half M R squared about the point of contact. You can use parallel axis theorem and then find that would be, let's say, point C, M R squared. If you are talking about spherical uh, object, let's say you have a sphere, that would be two five M R squared. And uh, for different objects, you can find uh, these geometrical properties. One thing that you need to pay attention is that which one we are talking about, especially the second moment of in area and moment of inertia, we show it by I. So they have the same symbol. So they're already easy to confuse, to be confused. And also uh, we need to remember that we need to write this equation based on a certain axis. For different axis, you're gonna have a different uh, value. So I hope that would help you use the right geometrical parameter depending on your application.